Are you a part of the Mile High Club? Oh my gosh. Are we We're gonna, an honorable mention. Are we? <laughs> That is the ultimate walk of shame. Abby Back was like, to our you seat. need to go first. I peeked out of the door. I could see that the flight attendants were like waiting for us to walk out. Apparently it might be illegal. I looked it up. It is illegal. How would you describe your first time between the sheets? I think that was shocking to me how quick it happens. I'm a guy who likes to take it slow and steady. You're a fast and furious woman. Hey, before we get started, please leave us a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or whichever platform you're listening on. It'd mean the world to us and to our YouTube listeners. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks, guys. What's, What's up, up dudes? dudes? And welcome back to the Unplanned Podcast. We both have diarrhea today. Oh my gosh, Abby. <laughs> Why are just, you bringing that up? I just want to get that out there because my tummy really feels weird. Oh and if gosh. I act off, it's just because I... We had some funky stuff for dinner last night. Sorry, guys. That's probably TMI. We're going to get TMI, though, in today's episode because we're doing the newlywed game show. Yes. Which we haven't done this since our honeymoon, right? Is that No, when we, first... we have to give some backstory oh my gosh. to this. Uh, so, you guys, we have talked about this probably many times, but if you don't know, we waited till marriage. Yep. And um, so the honeymoon was a very exciting time. And yeah. we went on a <laughs> cruise in the Western Caribbean. And on the second night of the cruise, so we board the ship, had dinner that night, and went to bed, basically, because you get there in the early evening. And then the next the next evening, we see on the, like, little itinerary, and we are people that just, like, love to do everything, we try love to everything. Send it. Yeah, and we're not, we're not scared to be in front of a crowd, so we're like, let's play this game show this, in front of a crowd of people. This would be fun. Well, no, we're sitting at dinner, and it said they're doing the newlywed game show. We're like, we're newlyweds. Let's do it. And so they picked the old, the couple that had been married the oldest in the crowd. There's like 500 people. Yeah. They picked the couple that had been married the shortest amount of time, which surprisingly wasn't us because I think some people literally just got married and got on the oh, cruise. Oh, yeah. We, we waited like a week. Yeah, we were married a week, I guess. And so then they're like, for the third couple, you have to do an audition. And so we like did this oh ridiculous gosh. audition where we pretend to be Tarzan and Jane. I don't know why yeah. they had us do that. Anyway, it was hilarious. Oh, I sang. I sang in front of the whole entire cruise ship. Oh, I yeah. sang You'll Be In My Heart. <gasps> Which is now Griffin's song. Yeah. Wait, that's actually really sweet. I never even thought about that. <laughs> sweet. Okay. So anyway, we're in front of this crowd. We got chosen because Matt won. really committed we to won. that. We won. They liked my performance. And you so, guys, this is before we even did social media, by the way. We've always been just like goofy crazy. people. Yeah. And um, we did all the dance parties and just like always. Matt did karaoke like every single day on the cr cruise ship, which stress me out because yeah. karaoke is my biggest fear. We'll have to share a video from our cruise, our honeymoon cruise on the Unplanned <laughs> Podcast Instagram. But we, we get in this game and you guys, we had no idea how raunchy these questions were going to be. They were pretty crazy. And um, there were some, can we just ask, say one of the questions? Go for it. It was like, what was love making like on the first night of the cruise? And then we were like, literally, what are they going to do? Like, what are they going to ask us? Like, how are we going to phrase this? And so they're like, Relate it to a holiday, either 4th of July, like fireworks and excitement, um, Halloween, freaky, um, Thanksgiving, like sleeping with a turkey. <laughs> yeah. I'll never forget this. It's burning my brain. Oh my gosh. That that show, it just took us by surprise. Well, <laughs> we, we are just so embarrassed answering these questions. And then a couple of days later, people on the cruise ship. No, like the very next morning. Okay, the very next morning everyone starts recognizing us on the cruise ship. Like, everyone's like, oh my gosh, you're the couple from the Newlywed Game Show. I was like, and how like, many people went to this like, show? I mean, there's like thousands of people on this cruise. Like, how does everyone know that we we're on the show? <laughs> and we come to find out that they recorded the whole entire thing and were playing the show in everyone's stateroom. Every so, single cabin on the cruise was watching that basically on repeat because there's no shows on like, those yeah. cabin TVs. And so we'd be out like off on the island on an excursion. They'd be like, hey, I seen you on my cabin TV. And, and or like, gosh. oh my gosh, and nobody like, needs to know this. We literally just got married. We had literally like, uh, we waited till marriage. We'd only been married for a week and everybody knew about our <laughs> sex life. Everyone on this cruise ship knew about our sex life. It was so embarrassing. And to this day, you guys, we will see comments on TikTok and other social media platforms where people are like, oh my gosh, you I guys were on a cruise. A cruise. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you guys on a cruise. So this is our second time playing the newlywed game gosh. show. We're doing it a little different. We're just going to go over these questions. But I felt like we needed something a little lighter because if you didn't see episode seven, it was pretty heavy and we just need yeah. to get the, the energy back up. And totally. We're not always going to be like that, and this totally. will be fun. We try to have a happy balance, right? Because we want to keep things positive. We don't, you know, don't want to be like so overly positive that you start to think like, oh, Matt and Abby are fake. And it's like, no, we want to show the real crap that we go through, but then also not be too negative. So we're trying to keep the balance here, right? Yeah, just like real life. Yeah, that's real life for you. Um, 
So this will be fun. You want to just get right into questions? Let's go for we it. We had someone else come up with these questions, so we are reading them for the first time with you. But I read the first one. Oh my <laughs> gosh. What is it, Abby? Read it out loud. <laughs> How would you describe your first time between the sheets? Oh Fast my gosh. Fast and God. furious, broken down, or slow and steady wins the race? Fast and furious. What does broken down mean? I have no idea. Oh, like it didn't work? Oh, that must be it. Yeah. <gasps> like it didn't work. That happens. I've heard it from oh my gosh. some people if it's new. I mean, I think um, that was shocking to me how quick it happens. Like you you wait your whole entire life for this moment and then it's like five minutes is up. Well, no, no, no. It was really, really sweet. We're still pretty fast and furious, honestly. Wait, we've never... <laughs> We've never told. <laughs> You're a fast and furious woman. I'm I'm a guy who likes to take it slow and steady, but <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> oh my I'm gosh. A baby. We've learned now that we've been married for nearly four years. We've learned that like you can't wait till nighttime because you're just too freaking tired, especially with the kid. Like everyone's exhausted at night. So yeah, yeah. Um, all all two of us. No, I don't wait, know. Why I just I said everyone. I actually want to tell. I want to say a funny story from our wedding say? night oh, that we gosh. have never ever shared. Oh gosh. But we talk about it between us sometimes. So Matt. <laughs> I've never seen oh, I know what you're about to say. Naked before, and so Matt, <laughs> I don't know if I should share this. I know you're gonna say it's hilarious. You can share. It. Okay, the top comes off. Oh my and gosh. Matt is distracted. <laughs> I'm very distracted. A lot said, going on. Can you scoot over a tit? <laughs> Step a bit. I'm like I'm staring at her, and I I know what I'm seeing. And I don't know how the words got fumbled up, but I wanted to say move over a bit and somehow tit came out instead. I mean bit. I mean bit. I mean and bit. Then, and then Can I you started move laughing, but I think you were kind of nervous. So you didn't really think it was that funny at the time. Uh, but like the next day, we're like, that was hilarious. That was hilarious. hilarious. Great memory, honestly. Love that about our wedding night. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess I would agree with that one. Okay. How many times did we do it on our wedding night? Wow. Uh, was it just once on our wedding night? Did we do it twice on the wedding night? We might twice, have done it. I think. We did it twice. We did it once. Went we to got Taco, Taco Bell. Bell, came back, saw all of my family pulling up at the hotel. Yeah, my family. Yeah, we literally like saw everybody. It was we we're like, let's get out. We here. all stayed in the same hotel. Why did and we do we, that? And we like casually had some conversations with family members, like, hey, hi, how's it going? And then we rushed back to our hotel room, and then we did it again. We had plenty of time because we got back from our wedding at 9 p.m. Honestly, can we like run that back? That that, that was, was a great so night. Sweet. We went Taco Bell. The wedding day was like one of my favorite days ever oh my gosh yeah it was the best it was so magical yeah couldn't have been better who would you say or who would your spouse say is the better catch what type of question is that what is that that's like so... who got lucky that's no. it's me 1000 percent. no like no, you no, no, are no. the better catch no that's well first of all that's such a subjective question i'm thinking about this way too logically first of all no but like you're no, I no, I definitely no, I got lucky. No, you know that I got the better catch. You're a very very fun person to be around and you have an amazing personality and you're very smart. You're very hot, smart, kind and fun. You're at so everything. Are, so are you. Wow, we're just going to keep complimenting each other for the yeah. rest of the episode. Just, Abby got dressed up for <laughs> date night the other night and she looked so hot. We like almost got into an argument and I was like, I don't even care if you win. I'm like, you win. You are so beautiful. Like, I don't even care right now. Like, and <laughs> it was like funny how like the argument just stopped right there because I was like, you are smoking hot. Like, what were you going to argue about? I was about? like, you are, you, yes, you are correct. I am wrong. I was like, I am wrong. You were right. Let's go on this date. You're beautiful. So I'm easier to fight with when I'm ugly. Yes, honestly. <laughs> no, 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 no. But we're like, when you're you get, canceled when you immediately. Get done, no, no, no. But like when you like get dressed up for a date and I'm just like, I'm just like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like that just, I don't know. I just love that. I love taking you Thank out on you. dates. Matt, you're the better And we catch. made this new rule, you guys. On dates now, we don't talk about kids or work. And it's like so good because I think when you talk about kids and work on, on a date, it's just kind of. It's not freaking fun, you know? It's not... Well, no, it's just not the time or place. Not the time or place. I don't know why we ever did that. Like, why did we think it was okay to talk about kids or work on date nights? It's not okay. Yeah. and We, we... did talk about baby names, though, last week's date night. Yeah. I think we actually came up with our boy name and our girl name. Dude, yeah, we did. We came up with two really good names. I'm very excited. <laughs> I almost teared up when Abby said this name that I've, like, never even thought of for Every a girl. time I've said this name, he started to tear up. It's starting it's to make precious. me think that we're having a girl. It's so precious. Anyway, okay, I've never on. seen you do that. Okay, your spouse takes your hand and pulls you to the dance floor. They say that the DJ is playing your song. What song is it? I think the first one that's popped in my brain is Forever Like That with by Ben Aww. Richter. That was our first dance song, and that was like our special that's song. That's our song. That's our song. That but is our song. What's your song and what's my song? 
what is my song? I don't know. What oh, my song I know is. any of your like DJ songs. I mean, I love a good EDM song, but I don't know if they like hit the same as like forever like that. Like they're just like those, those songs. I yeah. have like a new favorite EDM song like every month. Like there's a new yeah. song that hits really hard. Like today there's a song. I think it's called Heaven by Niall Horan that started playing, and I was like, that is a good song. That's a freaking good song. But um, those come and go real fast. What, yeah, that's what, sweet. Can you think Forever of one? Like That by Ben Rector would definitely be the one. Yeah, that's probably, that might be mine too, Because I'll on, be honest, the other songs could, we could just dance by ourselves on the dance floor. Yeah, I also like thought about um, the song I danced to with my mom at the wedding, uh, I Feel Like a Woman by Shania Twain. I was a big <laughs> Shania Twain fan as a kid, and so it just made sense to dance to Shania Twain with my mom when I was getting married, but yeah, that, that's Put a Put a clip one. of you and your mom dancing to Shania Twain on the Unplanned Podcast Instagram. Oh it's my literally gosh. at the Unplanned Podcast oh on Instagram. Gosh. That was... Honestly, you guys brought the house down. Yeah. Do we have a video of that? I hope we do. We do. Maybe and then okay. we also have a video that you should post uh, on the Instagram of us playing the newlywed game show. Oh, my gosh. After we've been married for like three days. I have a hard drive with that whole entire video recorded. They wouldn't give us the, the video for some reason. So I had it record on our camera, the stateroom TV. And it's on a hard Good drive. Good thing it was airing 24-7. I know. So it's, <laughs> it's on a hard drive somewhere. I need to find that video. Okay. What is one thing that your spouse has that you'd love to get rid of? <laughs> oh, no. The pregnancy pillow? Why, why did the first word that popped in my brain was attitude? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? I don't know. Like, I, I don't. It, it was like, a, I'm not. I'm just like teasing you. I'm just that like. Was so I'm so sassy. <laughs> you're, um, I'll, I'll say it. You're a savage sometimes. You're, sa you're a straight savage. You are. But. I, love I have you. an expectation, and if it's not met, I'm going to voice it, honestly. You are a woman with class. I will say that. Class? Yeah, you are. Yeah, and you know, you really do know your worth. You really do. <laughs> but sometimes sometimes it's a bit much. I'm like, okay, Abby, like, I'm, I'm like bowing down to you right now. Like, can we? Okay. I don't know. That's not entirely fair. Okay, sorry. That, this was that supposed might have been to be too a lighthearted I'm newlywed sorry. That was, that was too far. challenge, I'm sorry. and now we're going to have to go fight off camera. So. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. What is it? What is Come my, next What do you want me to get rid of? Isn't it? Is it like a trait? Is it like? Um, I have something. Your mank tops. Is it me? I don't wear tank tops anymore, dude. I have you not, have I have one not that one. I just folded and put in the closet. Okay, I barely it has wear those. Holes all I over thought you were it. gonna say, um, like. Oh, another thing. Empty bottles. I'm not in the a very shower. good listener. I thought you were gonna say something about like my listening. Like if you could no, get rid of my thing, one thing. Oh, okay. Why did I read that as like something like a, not like a physical item. But more of like really a... thinking too deep. I got, I got way too deep with that. I'm sorry. <sighs> Another thing I want you to get rid of is when there's an empty bottle in the shower, I want you to just throw it away instead of just like collecting oh, empty I do that. shampoo bottles. Yeah. And yeah, I let things build fake. up. I have two like basically empty just toothpaste tubes on my uh, on my sink. So it's nice that we oh, both yeah, have... Oh yeah, empty toothpaste tubes. We have too. our own sinks now. That's crazy. I feel like we leveled up in marriage by having our own sinks. We used to share one. So. It was kind of sweet when we brush our teeth together. It was really sweet. We used to share the same toothbrush. It was so cute. <laughs> okay, so the only thing Matt wants me to get rid of is my attitude. <laughs> no, um, no, next no. question. Your spouse asks you to grab them a treat from the store on your way home. What do you buy? Oh, for you? It's gonna be. A, it's most likely going to be a coffee. I pick you up coffee more often than not. Uh, but if you want a special treat. More often than not. Like if you're like, get me something, it's usually oh, okay, me getting yeah. you coffee. Um, oh, I know you. A Slurpee. From 7-Eleven. I love a good 7-Eleven Slurpee. Those are so good. And they're only a dollar. And I'd get you Sun Chips. Yes. The original. If you're going to go for a candy bar, you're going to go for a Take 5 bar. Those yes. are always the move. And if you're going to get something at Cold Stone, you're going to want something with like Cold raspberry. Cold Stone? Yeah. If you want, if you, you get like brownie with chocolate and raspberry. We like, rarely go to Cold Stone. That's true. But then. It's too pressy. I'm trying but to think of other things. I, I think I nailed somewhere. yours, honestly. Yeah, you, you pretty got you got mine good. Yeah, I mean coffee. It's just coffee yeah. all the time. Like, there's really not another. Yeah. Oh, dude, and crumble cookies. We used to eat crumble cookies like every week. Yeah, we haven't been while. on our crumble game. Yeah, for like weeks and weeks, we got crumble. Every there's single a flavor week. this week you'd really like. It's really? butterscotch. Oh yes. Okay, we got to try it this week. Okay, what one word would I use to describe our first time? Dang, Sweet. lots of first, lots of first time questions. Sweet. Well, it's newlywed. Uh. Yeah, it's just really sweet. It was really sweet. Aww. I thought it was great, honestly. Yeah. Some people with that weight sometimes have oh, yeah, awkward yeah, experiences. Yeah, it was pretty great. I think it was great. Yeah. What adjective best describes your spouse on your wedding day? 
Sorry, I'm just like still in my feels right now. We've made this video. Uh, it's actually on our YouTube channel. I can't, it was super vulnerable vulnerable of us to share this. I, I'm shocked we actually did this back like three years ago. But we like reacted to that wedding night message to ourselves because we were like so in love and so hyped on life and just our marriage that we like made a video to our future selves. Wait, that I do want to give that piece of advice to anyone that is like engaged. Oh, yeah. Think about making a video when you get back to your hotel room after your wedding. When your emotions are just so high and you're so in love and you yeah. like have just dedicated and committed your life to this person. Yeah. Make a video and that you can watch if you guys are agitated or hitting a low point in your marriage because it really like lifts you up yeah. and reminds you of your love for each other. Totally. And then when you hit those rough parts in marriage, which you will, everybody does. There's nobody that's above it. Um, when you hit rough points where it's just like really hard to keep going on and um you think about what would my life look like if i wasn't with this person like would i be happier and i mean like literally everybody has those same sh thoughts and when you first have those thoughts you think like oh my gosh what's going on this is crazy like i'm something's wrong something's wrong with me or my, maybe my marriage maybe i married the wrong person everyone has those thoughts dude and i'm, I'm sure there might be like a like 0.1 percent people that don't but like everybody has those thoughts um and when you have those thoughts that's when you can go back and watch that video and it like reminds you of like why you want to work for your marriage so yeah it's really sweet yeah that was a cool video so i have an adjective that i would best describe you on your our wedding day and it was giddy i feel like you were very giddy one last thing when you oh when you gosh. when you date your spouse when you go on dates then you remember too like what it felt like to be like young and in love again because like going on dates and not talking about work and not talking about kids you just like feel that like strong connection and it's just so much fun and you feel like you're with your best friend and uh yeah so make that video and if you're if you are have been married for hey even 20 years make a video right now like if you're in a good spot of your marriage make a video to remind yourself like hey this is worth fighting for even when times are hard that was very sweet. Good Thanks. advice. Thank you. Okay, sorry. Your question, I totally got distracted. <laughs> no worries. I was like so focused on that question. No, that was all good stuff. Yeah. You're spitting facts. Yeah, okay. So you just asked me what? What adjective would you use to describe me on our wedding day? I said you were giddy. Oh my gosh. Um, I, I have a word for myself. I can't really think. Why can I not think of anything? I was going to say a... a you were like a party, but that's not an adjective. Like you were. Yeah, uh, count. You. I'll keep thinking. What was? What were you gonna I say? I was gonna say I was. I just remember feeling so at peace on our wedding day, the whole day, which wasn't true for the days leading up to the wedding. Yes. I was like anxious. I like had a breakdown. I was like freaking out. Mm -hmm. And then on our wedding day, I just literally felt so calm and at peace. Like I just remember a lot of um, the sweet women in my life were like so well-meaning. Like make sure you eat. Like I know you're not gonna. Want, I like. I was like, I've eaten good today. You ate good. I had like five sandwiches. Joyful. Aww. Joyful. That's yeah. Um, you were not a bridezilla. In fact, you were the opposite of a bridezilla. <laughs> um, and I'm so thankful for that. Like, I'm so thankful. Like, you're a pretty go with the flow type of person. You're pretty chill. Um, and so, yeah, I, I, I would say you were joyful because it was just, you were just so happy and mm -hmm. you didn't really like worry too much about like, every single thing falling into place it was just hey we're here to celebrate a marriage we're here to I be with our friends i didn't know what was supposed to fall into place oh true i didn't plan my own wedding so yeah. i just showed up and it was just it was the best i was just so yeah happy like yeah that's I love that. that was a good word i did my own makeup and my mom's makeup Dude, and just hung out with my girls why has your makeup i'm not trying to you know be offensive here why was your makeup like it's not been good when other people do it but like you are good at makeup but when devin just did my makeup it was so good Wait, actually you're right so maybe you've just had i don't want to offend people but the people that have done your makeup in the past other than devin i think i have a very unique face yeah and you know how to do your face well <laughs> <laughs> you i mean you're good at makeup I'm you're really familiar good familiar with my but, like face. i can tell when people other people do your makeup because it doesn't look as good but devin actually did a very good job on your makeup i think what they do is they you and devin are great at makeup actually yeah you I and devin her. should should collab on makeup <laughs> oh i would be so into that um what is the worst thing that happened on your wedding day i really i can't even answer that can't think of a single bad thing um yeah honestly i i, I can't even think of anything actually at all what i forgot my wedding dress oh you did but i mean we just went and picked it up then yeah there it was you go. easy fix there you go that's awesome um, um 
It was a really great day. I yeah, really cannot, I can't think of anything. I can't honestly. think of like one. Bad I don't want to make any memory at all. Yeah, I don't want to. I'm saying I don't want to like try to force any. I mean, bad. I'm sure there was things that happened that were not ideal, but like it doesn't have any space in my memory. Like I, I must have forgotten. It was the it. best day ever. Yeah. What song would best describe your spouse in the bedroom? <laughs> um, Fast and Furious. <laughs> what the heck? You make it sound crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> um you're just like a really fast song like a like a two minute song you know that's just like from start to finish just like really quick doesn't take much time wow matt i don't think i have i don't know if i can come up with a song title for you like we're talking about like a name of like an actual song like i a guess hit. yeah um why why did i just think of pony from magic mike we played pony from magic mike <laughs> On our, on our honeymoon. On our honeymoon, dude. That was hilarious. Just fun. I just thought it was hilarious. We're and fun. yeah, it was it was fun to never mind. I don't want to get too into it, but we, we yeah, we just you know dan dance around, play the song. It was a good time. Great time. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't really have a good answer for that song. I don't know a lot of song titles. Um I also don't want to get <laughs> graphic. Can you just say one? You can't think of a single song for me. Well, Pony doesn't describe. What about what about the song like our our song? You know the song that we listen to when we when we. Uh, yeah, we're gonna expose that. Are we gonna song? say our, you want to say our song? Sure, you can say it. <laughs> Why am I like? It's by uh, it's by uh, Leon Bridges. Mrs. Is the yeah. Name of the song. Yeah, Mrs. by Leon Bridges. That's her song. I feel like that is. Is that my song? Would you... Well, that's not your song. Is that how you describe me? I think, well, the word Mrs. doesn't describe you. I feel like you're not understanding the question. Like, if I were to use a song oh, title to describe yeah. no, you. No, I understand the, the question completely. I'm just like, I'm searching for you, dude, because I, I can't. I, I Yeah, you're Fast and Furious for sure. But that's not the name of the song. That's the name of a movie. I'm such an idiot. Why did I say a name of a movie, not I'm a song? I'm so confused also. Dude, we need to go to the next question. Is your spouse more like their mom or dad? Why? Gosh, See, I don't, I don't want to piss you, you off. So much I don't want to. I love both my parents. Okay, sorry. You're more like your mom. <laughs> Why does that make me... That's not going to make me mad at all. No, no, that's a good thing. <laughs> sometimes... Okay, sometimes you get mad if I like relate something that you do to your parents. Well, I don't think anyone loves that. That's true. Because usually it's like a negative thing when, yeah. when your spouse relates something yeah. that you do to your parents. So that's why it is. Yeah. I would say you are exactly like both your parents, but probably more so like your dad as you've gotten older. I've noticed a lot of like your dad's traits in you. Like what? <laughs> like I think what? your humor for my sure. My humor is that a good thing or a bad thing? It can be both. It can be both. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it freaks me out when I'm like my parents, man. I love my parents so much, but like when people are like, "You're just like your parents," I'm like, "Gosh, dang it!" Like it's like seriously, you know? <laughs> no, I think it's a good thing. You I think it's because parents. like when you're around people so much, you can see. Obviously, I mean, I love my parents. My parents are amazing, but when you're around people so much, you can see their flaws, and then like sometimes you fixate on the flaws, and then people will be like, "You're like that person." I'm like, "What?" You know? <laughs> no, I have amazing parents. I'm I'm truly blessed to have the parents I that I have. Too. I do too. Your love parents my are amazing. Parents. Yeah, we we're both very blessed to have parents, and they're both still together. Neither one of our parents are divorced, which which is insane. Both of my parents' parents got divorced. My parent, my mom's parents separated, my dad's parents separated, but then both of your grandparents never separated, both sets and your parents never separated. That's crazy. That's very rare. That's a huge blessing. You never hear of that where, yeah, the whole entire family is still together. No one's ever divorced. Wild. Crazy. Congratulations, honestly, to you and your family. Well, I feel like it's a really big, big blessing because they've like set such a great example yeah. for I mean, me. The divorce rate in America is like 50%, right? Is it even higher than that? It might be higher. Oh, gosh, I don't know. It's really And that's sad. even in religious communities too. And like usually you'd think it'd be higher, but I want to say in religious communities, it's still like 50%. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Probably depends on the religion too. Um, which I mean, sometimes divorce is very necessary. So. Oh, oh yeah. There's definitely yeah. a time and a place for a divorce, but anyway. What is our code word for sex? Our code word? Do we have one? We don't really have a code word at all. At all. I think we just kind of say it. Yeah. Sometimes you use. <laughs> what do I use? What do I say? You say weird things sometimes. I don't know. Like, I, honestly, I literally... right before we filmed this podcast. What did I say right before Didn't filming you say this podcast? Pound Town. I wanted to go to Pound Town, and you said <laughs> no. <laughs> you didn't say that. <laughs> you lit you literally just said it before I did. I know, but you said it before, so then I had the reason to bring it up. Here's the weirdest part <laughs> about this podcast. I just want to get this out here. 
we talk like this with our friends and we're pretty open people, pretty vulnerable. The weirdest part about this podcast though, is sometimes I forget that like literally anybody can watch this and I don't care about complete strangers because there's people that watch this stuff and like we'll never we'll never see them we'll never even know who they are it doesn't bother me yeah but then knowing that there's people in my personal life that could watch well, this well you know we kind of make jokes like that even with people true, in our personal life true that's true but just like people that I would be I, I don't I don't know it's weird but this is just who we are as people so I guess we have we just have so, to own it hopefully my grandma and grandpa have turned this off at this point that's the, that's the fact <laughs> like you're I feel like your grandparents watch our podcast which is like wow that's we've made jokes like this in front of them too we though. have though <laughs> yeah we're pretty open with your grandparents too they're they're awesome people yeah they're the best we should have them on the podcast oh my gosh yes comment below if you'd like to see us have um abby's grandparents on the podcast or abby's grandmas or my grandma my parents especially i know my parents we would get love. the grandmas together Ooh, that could the be the ultimate great. grandma collab yeah honestly just comment below who you want to see on the podcast in general we love having guests on it's really fun yeah it is fun um so anyway what would your spouse say are their best personality characteristics oh so like what would you say yours okay i think matt for his would say that he's very creative and hardworking. oh you're saying that's what i say for myself yes oh thank you but yeah i guess that it's I would, like flipped around it's like a weird because it says what well, what would i say or yeah what would your spouse say are their best personality characteristics first best person but personality though that's oh, not really personality pers that's like work ethic that's more so like my i'd say your personality you're very friendly thank you you would say that about yourself probably i think i'm very friendly i think you're very goofy goofy i like that i think you're thank hilarious you. and i love how you're not afraid to be yourself in front of other people thank you um which is odd because you were very quiet and shy in front of me initially when we first met because i liked you that's why because you liked me you were quiet and shy but you are the goofiest silliest person also the atmosphere we were in it and wasn't a place for me to be i was like yeah focus but you literally do not give a, a rip about what other people think about you and i love that that's very nice <clears> only time i don't like that and i've said this before is if we're having a disagreement <laughs> and we're in public and abby will be ready to brawl like out in public she'll just like she'll just be you know throwing words around and i'm like abby like we are in a public setting i don't know I, can we just talk can we talk this out in the car or like, in front of people sometimes yeah. i'm not the best about that. i'm trying to work on that but that other than that that's like my favorite thing about you i know if you love because that about me then you got to take it as that's it, true i got to take it in all, all forms but like for me i <laughs> sometimes i get weird and i get in insecure and like even if we get recognized in public like it doesn't it abby never bats an eye but for me like i will get nervous if people like come up to us to say hi i don't know why it still happens we've probably been recognized now over a thousand times i don't i don't know the number but like it happens daily and i still get weird i don't know why i don't know why i'm just like i just get nervous this doesn't mean that if you see us in person you shouldn't no say come hi. up and say hi we love saying hi he to you guys. loves it but he just maybe has a little social anxiety I, no yeah it's it's the social anxiety for sure i think where i get weird with people seeing us in public is if they're like staring at us but yeah, won't say hi say anything. that makes me uncomfortable or take pictures I'm of like, us i'm just like just come up and say hi and then let's talk but like if people just stare at us that makes me feel weird because i don't like being stared at so I think my least favorite thing is when the phones come out and I'm like, I'm being recorded, but I... Yeah, no, love taking pictures, love meeting weird. people, love having conversations. and But sometimes we're like on the go or busy and, and stuff like that. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, okay, off subject. No. What's something that makes your spouse cry? You guys, What's I've mine? never seen Matt cry. You know what makes me cry though. What makes me emotional? What makes me tear music. up? Music. I love music. It's kind of weird that I haven't seen you cry though. You have. No, you have. I can't think. I can't think of like a specific thing right now. Never actually cry. Like maybe one or two tears will fall from your eyes. I've cried. But I never like cry. We've had some hard times where like. Oh where yeah. I cried. Okay, maybe like once or twice, but like very little. But you could like definitely. Because in general, you just don't get teary. Yeah, about we've been things. together for seven years. Seven years, um, in June, and I, it's probably like two, maybe three times you've seen yeah. me like cry. Mm -hmm. And you don't like when you get touched by something. It rarely brings tears to your eyes, but recently mentioning our potential name for a baby girl has brought tears to yeah. your eyes which is so yeah. unique not tears though it's just it makes me more like each time you've said it though my eyes get a little my eyes get kind of glossy yeah yeah and that's what happens when i listen to like a really moving song and music yeah like music just sense. oh i just get chills listening to some it's just always random songs at the most random times will just hit me and yesterday 
or two days ago on our date. Was that yesterday, though? No, yeah, yesterday on our date. We went on a date yesterday. Country music. We were listening to a country music song called, um, what was the song? We listened to a lot. But the, there was one that's like, you can buy dirt. What is it? Yeah, buy dirt. Buy dirt. That one got me. And then there's another one before buy dirt that got me, too. Yeah. Oh, what's that one? Talking about how fast time goes. Oh, next thing you, you know. know. Da, 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 da. Yeah, next thing you know. That's like a TikTok trend. That one got me, too. Honestly, that's what makes me cry. Recognizing, well, actually, everything makes me recognizing cry. Recognizing the passing of time. Yeah, like when I, I think about he, Griffin growing yeah. up, it makes me cry. <laughs> And I'm such an idiot. Like, I always get so excited about the future. And then I look back and I'm like, man, I miss the past. Like, why do, I, why do I do that? Why do I, like, get so focused on future things rather than just enjoying the moment? I That's something that I've wanted to work on for, like, a year now. I and I you, you do a good job of that, though. Yeah. It's just hard. I get so excited about, like, future that's ideas and, and big dreams. And I forget, like, not, like Griffin's now eight months old. Like, yeah. Eight months has passed, and I will never be in a father to my firstborn at when they're three months old again or when they're six months old again. Like, all that time has passed. It's gone. Yeah. It's crazy. And you know what? Remember that little stretch he'd do when he got out of the swaddle? The scrunch. The newborn the scrunch, scrunch. The newborn scrunch. That's done. Oh, my gosh. I saw a video about that. It was, like, me when I realized that my baby no longer does the newborn scrunch. Yeah. And it's basically, like, they have their legs crunched up like they're still in the womb for a long time after they come out. And yeah. He doesn't do that anymore. He's like a big baby. Basically, everything makes me cry, so I don't know if you have anything particular you want to share. Yeah, really, everything does make you cry. <laughs> I just wear my emotions on my sleeve. Yeah, but with this pregnancy, you've been way less emotional, which is very shocking. Really? Yeah, last pregnancy, you were very emotional. I, I want to say you cried every single day with mm. the last pregnancy. Mm. Mm, that's weird. I feel like because we're parents now, we haven't had the time to recognize that um, all this time is passing. Like, it's gone very fast. You're yeah. already 18 weeks pregnant, and... Uh, it just it just caught like caught us by surprise. That's true. What's your spouse's favorite time of day for making love? You're speaking for me. For for you? Yeah, what's your spouse's? Um, it used to be at night for you. Not anymore though. Um, I would say probably midday for you. Afternoon. Yeah. Is great. What about for me? I feel like you would do morning if you could. Maybe the same time. Was, whenever you can get it. Oh, let's be real. Yeah, no, like it's literally I'm a very flexible person. Like whenever <laughs> whenever you're down, I'm down. Okay, yeah, yep. you're pretty easy. Yeah, literally any any day. You could literally wake me up in the middle of the night and I would I would yes, I would be down. <laughs> How does your partner tell you that you're that they're in the mood? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh okay. How do I tell you I'm the mood? I literally just tell you. It's honestly gotten less and less romantic the longer we've been together. But I feel like we've heard like marriage uh, advice about how like you need to schedule out sex and you need to just like say, hey, can we do it this time? Because then it doesn't happen, right? Yeah, honestly, I feel like it's good to be on the same page. <laughs> You're all over the place. I'm trying to get the microphone. What am I doing? Mouth. You keep like moving your mouth all over the place. Um, I think it's good to be on the same page because especially with a baby. Otherwise, it just won't happen. Yeah. So you better, might as well let it happen and have a, a schedule. Look, I understand that intimacy starts in the kitchen and it starts in the living. It starts all like it doesn't start in the bedroom, right? Like Can you, you got, explain what you mean by that so people don't think we're just like out here. Yeah, in we our only kitchen. do it in the kitchen. That's what <laughs> <laughs> no, but like um, basically, what it means is you need to be showing your spouse your love throughout the day and making sure that you're thinking about them. It could be um, a, a handwritten note. It could be like flowers it could be we need to be better about that we got to be better about that um or it doesn't have to be anything like that it doesn't have to be anything physical it could literally just be your time or your attention putting on something special yeah exactly i love it when you put on something special yeah i i freaking i, I love that so anyway uh that's what that means it, it does it's not like okay you're going crazy you spend no time together you don't even talk to each other and then you get in the bedroom and it's like okay let's do this like that's not that's good. never good that's never good yeah can I say something though? Yeah. What sucks is that if we go on a date night and it's so romantic and it's so amazing and then we come home and it's nighttime, we're both tired, we're trying to get to bed so that we can wake up, so that I can honestly wake up with Griffin and you can feed him and then go back to bed after yeah. you feed him in the morning. That's, well, we don't that, always do that. Most of the time I wake up with Griffin. Are you serious? The past couple days I haven't, but... Wait, I, like, I, I always wake up with Griffin. In the morning. Yeah. But 
like in Hawaii, for instance, every day I would like, I brought oh, Griffin yeah. to you to feed and then yeah. I'd go take him. But anyway, no, but what I was saying though is uh, you're just tired at night. And so you really need to, you can't, you can't make love making happen before date night, which sucks because then you don't have all the romance built up. Right? Maybe just do it before. Exactly. But that sucks though, because if you do it before, there's no like romance that built up from the date. That's true. But then it makes your date extra romantic. That's true. That's a good point. Um, don't know where to go from there. <laughs> uh, what did your spouse get you for their first, for your first Christmas together? You were in high school, so budgets were tight. Um, I remember what you got me. Oh, you got me some nice JBL headphones. Yeah, those hot cute pink. hot pink headphones. Those are so cute. Who wants those back? Do you still have them? I don't them? think so. You got rid of them? Maybe they broke. That's really sad. They did not break. You definitely just donated those. I definitely did not donate them. You 100% donated those headphones. Why would I have donated them? Because you like to get rid of stuff. You don't like clutter. It's true. I, I don't like clutter I get rid of either. everything I have. Yeah, we have like... Maybe speaking... I got new headphones, so then I got old, rid of the old ones. Yeah. Um. What did you... Oh, I know no, no, exactly no. what you got me. Actually, the headphones were for my birthday. For our very first uh, Christmas together, you got me, remember this? Electric purple leggings that were skin tight nope, from Lululemon. Nope, 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 That was in college. That was after a year and a half together. Really? Because I'm pretty sure I remember you, I remember opening them in front of my grandma and her being like, those leggings are painted on like some made some yeah no i got you those leggings a uh, year and a half into okay our, so i was right with my first one the first one might have no i got you a bunch of stuff i don't i got you like 10 different gifts i don't know what all they were but i think either the headphones were your birthday gift or your christmas gift it's hard because your birthday and christmas are right next they to each were other. my birthday gift but for me i know that a very personal gift that you did was you made this deck of cards yeah. with 52 things that i love about you and it was like this whole list of all these things that you loved about me do you me. still have that I still have it. I still Aww, have you it. Guys, that was actually took me a really long time. <laughs> it's really sweet. And you stopped making those for me. So thanks a lot. <laughs> no, I'm Aww, we have to do another no, one. Yeah, that was really sweet. I miss when you used to do that. I'm going to put a picture of that on the podcast Instagram because that's actually a really sweet idea if it's like yeah. your first year together because um, it's just a great memory mm -hmm. to have. Yeah. I think I also got you a watch that year. You didn't give me the watch the first year. That was like year okay. number two or three. <laughs> They're all blending together. Yeah. What was your first significant fight and what was it about? Oh, I remember. I want to say that you tell me that the first, I think you've said that the first fight was about colleges that we were going to. Yeah. Because we were dating in high school and we had to make a decision on college. Like if we were going to go to college together or not. We were pursuing um, theater in college. We wanted to get acting degrees. And so we had auditioned at all these different schools and it was crazy, you guys. Like think about... Okay, think about this. Think about like auditioning for some program and like making sure that your significant other also makes it in that program. That's what we were trying to do. So we both like hundreds auditioned. of kids audition and yes. they only take and like they 30. only take they only take like twenty kids. So we auditioned at a crap ton of schools in the hopes that a few of these schools would accept both of us. And luckily they did. So that's how we figured it out. But that was our first fight and it was scary because we were wanting to stick to stick around but we knew that if we went to different schools most likely we'd break up yeah i think that is an understandable reason to get in a fight yeah it was just a lot of high stakes because it's either like we're gonna break up or we're gonna stay together well i think also you were down because i didn't want to do long distance in college you don't want to do long distance and for me you were having a you were not having a fun time at the audition process we went we've went to Chicago and auditioned at all these different yeah. colleges. They had this thing called Unifieds where you auditioned for like a hundred schools at once and with like one audition. Um, well, it's like multiple auditions, but in this hotel. Anyway, long story short, uh, I was getting a lot of success at the auditions because I was a guy. There's not a, a lot of guys in theater that have a big dance background. I took dance my whole entire life. I had like nine years of experience in dance. So I got a, like a lot of great feedback. But then for you, because you were um, auditioning for these musical theater I mean, schools. I'm a terrible singer. Well, you're just not like. I'm going to give them a little snippet. So oh, they my know. God. Abby's a. Oh, say. <laughs> <laughs> Abby's not. Abby's a very strong uh, dancer and actor. And so she was so let down because they were wanting to see you sing in these musical theater auditions. And Which is very understandable. So, yeah, we got into an argument about that. Um, about what? Cause, well, because I was so excited and then you were so oh, let down. A terrible time. So, like, we were on completely different wavelengths. And Let me just say, a boy walking into one of those auditions is not quite like a girl walking into those auditions. I'm a dime a dozen. 
You, a tall, strapping man, Thank walking you. in these auditions, you are a diamond in the rough. Thank you. Uh, we need to whip through these final questions because there's a lot of good ones still. Oh, gosh. One thing my spouse would never do is... What would you say? I have one for myself, but not I, for I was going to say cheat. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would never cheat. Yeah. What were you going to say for me? No, I was going to have one. I had one for myself. Oh. I was just thinking of seeing you weren't, you weren't going to say G too? You that. weren't you weren't going to say that too? Um for you? Yeah, what were you going to say for me? Mm, between the two of us, I feel like you're more likely to cheat. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. So you're saying I'm like, I'm not loyal right now. No, you're loyal. Thank oh, you. you're very loyal. Um I, one thing you would never do. I thought of a boring one. But I feel like <laughs> Why did I just think of this one? I was like join a timeshare. <laughs> I would ne you're never gonna catch me joining a timeshare. I hate timeshares. I think there's a waste they're a waste of time, they're a waste of money. We once sat you're through such an old man. We once sat through a four hour long timeshare meeting just, just to get, get cheap, cheap luau, luau tickets. tickets. And we still had to spend hundred and fifty dollars to go to this luau. But oh my gosh, is that a waste of time? And they were mean too. Like they had good cop, bad cop going on. They had this girl who was so nice and brought us free drinks and gave us free snacks, and she was like so so excited to talk to us and ask us about our travel plans and then they brought in this really mean guy who was like okay here's the deal you guys are gonna do that and like this guy was like so mean and we're like okay like what's going on like we're literally just here just to get our free cheap tickets or our cheap tickets and leave and then once we finally got out of that situation they brought in a freaking third dude who then was like so why did you not sign the paperwork and like <laughs> we're like dude we're just here to get our luau tickets so anyway i hate timeshares i will never do one ever again in my life my time's more valuable than that um it was just, it was a crap show. I hate timeshares. I'm glad you got that off your chest. Thank you. Matt. Thank you. Was it worth the luau ticket, so? Honestly, the luau was pretty fun. It was really fun. <laughs> it was fun. a pretty fun luau. Okay, and we're going to both answer this at the same time. Okay. Who is a bigger baby when they're sick? One, two, three. You. See, I. <sighs> One hundred percent. I'm literally constantly sick every day, pretty much. So here's what happens when we're sick, okay? If I'm sick, I take rest. I recognize that I'm not he feeling good. sleeps all day. And no, I just, I make sure that I'm getting sleep and so that I'm taking care of myself. What Abby does is she doesn't pretends get rest. Pretends I'm not sick. She pretends that she's not sick. And but it in works. Turn, it tricks your brain and then you feel better. No, it doesn't trick your brain. It just, it just makes you really pissed off. And then you complain to me all day about it. No, that's just because my love language is being taken care of. Uh, no, so but like. So sometimes I you, do milk it a little bit. You milk it so much. But you're the bigger baby. Abby, I'm not a baby. I just get rest. A like baby. I just recognize that I need to take it easy okay we need to move on this question <laughs> go for it what is it are you a part of the mile high club are we oh my gosh are we we're gonna, an honorable mention are we <laughs> <laughs> are we gonna talk about this Can are we actually gonna reveal this briefly, on the podcast briefly mention it oh my gosh okay we, we tried let's just say we tried we tried we wanted to join the mile high club so bad I wanted to join the Mile High Club so bad. Matt, tell it and fast because it's painful. It hurts. It's very painful. My hands painful. are sweating. My heart is racing. Essentially, I did some research online. I figured out how we can make this happen. And so the game plan was Abby goes in the bathroom first. I wait a couple minutes and then go in the bathroom. So now no nobody realizes there's two people in the bathroom. We do the deed and then leave. Nobody knows. And that was the plan. But things did not go according to plan. It was a fail. It was a I, massive fail. The, the, so, the flight attendant was outside the door, literally. Two like, flight attendants. You need to come out of there. Okay, we're getting we're getting ahead of ourselves. So How first of all, are you explain for, this first for? of all, we should have done it on a night flight when people were asleep, when flight attendants were sleeping. We should have made sure that there was like coast was clear, nobody was there, nobody going to the bathroom. That was our first big mistake. Second big mistake, I followed Abby in immediately. That was so stupid. So Abby goes in the bathroom. And then I walked in literally like it's not 10. not like we were on a private jet. We were on a commercial. We're in economy. We were sitting, we're in, economy. We were sitting in economy. I think this was like a flight back home from Hawaii back like two years ago. Anyway. And so I follow Abby and almost immediately right away. There's like knocking on the door. And I swore we were never going to talk about this. And I'm like, this. crap, I hope that is not the flight attendants. And it was like so embarrassing. But like Abby was trying to take her clothes off. And yeah. No, and like, okay, and I, was trying, I was I was, we're almost done. This is the most hilarious story. I'm actually glad we're talking about this. Um, and so we're like, we're both practically naked at this point. Oh, gosh. And 
I'm like, okay, here we go. It's we're gonna, we're gonna make it happen. Two. But Abby got so it's nervous. Not like urine. Abby got so nervous about the fact that people would know that we joined the Mile High Club or like the the flight no, attendant. The flight attendant was right outside the door, less than a foot away, being like, "You guys need to get out." out of there like we, we didn't know everyone's though attention. we didn't know though i heard her knocking you heard her knocking that's why i was freaking out but then i thought it might have just been some person that was trying to get in there you know what i'm saying it was clearly the flight attendant it was hard to know what was going on while we were in there it was very confusing it was clear that somebody was wanting to use the restroom but i'm like man we've already come this far no matter what we both have to walk out of this bathroom at this point so i was like we might as well just do it they and say we did it they were trying to use the restroom they were trying to get us out of there i know there. but i did, we i wasn't aware of that oh i, I knew i thought it could just be some random person trying to get in the bathroom okay and i was like look we're gonna go through embarrassment either way so we might as well just make the most of it so i'm still down to go for it but abby was way too nervous she was very stressed out she was panicking the lady abby's was also out there drawing more attention you're also claustrophobic that was a, also a big bad mistake. bad plan abby's very claustrophobic so that, I don't even know why we thought this could work. So anyway, you, you essentially, it could work. essentially all we did was go into the bathroom on the plane, get naked in the bathroom, look at each other and then leave. And so w when we left, I went first. That is the ultimate walk of shame. Abby, Abby Back was like, you seats. need to go first. I peeked out of the door. I could see that the flight attendants were like literally just a few feet away, like waiting for us to walk out. And I walk out. And the flight attendant is like, excuse me, sir, I want you to know this is like a, a, a crime. You cannot do this on the plane. It like is she was, illegal, Matt. She was so mad. Come to find out it actually is illegal. Apparently it might be illegal. I don't even know. We I, did break the law. I don't even know if that's a if that's technically a law that we broke. I, no, I don't it know. Is, I it's, looked it up. It is illegal. It's technically a law. No, really? it is a law. Wow. Okay. Anyway, I knew that this there was some shady business with Mile High Club stuff. So I actually had this, I had a speech, I had something prepared in case of anything. So I told, I made up a white lie. I told the ladies, I was like, I'm so sorry. My, I was helping my wife with a medical need she had. Um, it won't happen again. And so they, once I brought up like a medical thing, they just like, they, they couldn't really say anything. And I just walked Not away. Not true. Because then when I walked out, they said to me, ma'am. You just uh, like com like broke the law, like said something like that and they, loudly for everybody. And they did this loudly. This was at the back of the plane, so luckily, since planes are loud, they just really wanted only, to use us as an example. Yeah, only a couple people probably heard it, but it was definitely humiliating. No, a lot of people heard it. So humiliating. I just wanted to. That's the one time in my life I've like wanted to just disappear. Like, yeah, I wanted to dissolve into my seat. I want to say we were wearing masks on the plane, so that that at least made it less embarrassing. Like people couldn't <sighs> figure out who we were as much. Well, that was the longest um, explanation of the most painful memory of my yeah. life. Yeah, I can't believe we just talked about us going. Like, Honestly, literally... we need to cut the podcast here. Wait, what? We're done. We're done. It's. I thought we had like ten more questions. We've shared plenty more. We've shared plenty today. I've been wanting. We might have to do a part two. Maybe we should do part two with your parents. Oh my gosh. They would be a riot. Oh my gosh. That would be hilarious. Um, yes. But before we go, I wanted to read a review from one of our kind viewers. Um, this is from Hannah Conley. So thank you so much. It says, this podcast is definitely worth a listen. As a young wife, it's amazing to hear about the successes, stories, and struggles of a young couple a few years ahead of me. Matt and Abby have a way of highlighting the joy and excitement in life, even if that life is unplanned. I definitely prefer to have a solid plan under my belt before I proceed in any direction, but hearing about how two amazing humans figuring it out as they go can not only succeed but thrive makes me a little more chill as a person and she gave us five stars and called us refreshing so thank you so so much hannah um we really appreciate your reviews so if you have a chance just leave a five star rating and a review it would mean the world to us we really appreciate yeah. it it's you, encouraging you can do that on any platform that you're listening on if that's apple Podcasts, spotify whatever leave a review and if you're watching this on youtube make sure you hit the subscribe button it would really mean a lot to us and like the video it really helps us out it tells the algorithm that you enjoyed the video and it'll share this video with other people so the like button actually really helps yeah yeah so well you guys are the best this was another fun episode and we'll see you in the next one three two one peace, peace out, out dudes, dudes.